Hello guys and welcome to today's episode where today as you can see from the title and the thumbnail we're going to be talking about something that is the event that's going to be coming in just under a day and uh, today I'm really really excited for some reason well basically what's been going on is I've been having a well a pretty boring day to be honest what I have been doing is I went to school first of all then I had driving lessons then I had to do maths I had a ton of math exercises and uh, then I was working on my internet connection because because for some reason Clash of Clans would not open. Any other app, YouTube, Safari, everything would open, but Clash of Clans would just not open. I had no idea why, so what I did is I unplugged the internet, I plugged it in, it still didn't work. Well anyways, after a long time, for some reason it started working again, so one or two hours later I am sitting here and I'm recording this video, but I guess many of you guys do not care at all, so we're going to be getting also straight into this. So today's topic is, should you be excited about today's video or not? Well, no, that's not the topic. Should you be excited about the event that's going to be coming within a couple of days, or should you rather be, um, well, I, I guess, kind of sitting back? So basically, the event, if we go into the events, as you can see, in a couple of days, one day and 15 hours. Now, from the time you are watching, this is probably going to be under a day. But uh, basically, this event is coming, and in my opinion, you should not be excited at all because we know Supercell, we know what they do. They bring out these troops, they make them all exciting, they make this all some trailers where they make it look like the troops absolutely overpowered and all that stuff and then at the end it's just a terrible troop slash spell for example the Santa spell everybody was excited that it's going to be coming back to Clash of Clans and then when Supercell brought it back for just a week or two it was literally the worst spell I mean it wouldn't do a lot of damage at all it was terrible it was like a lightning spell basically just a different animation pretty much and uh, I'm going to talk about these two troops so uh, I'm not going to be getting myself into an attack sometimes I get myself into an attack and uh, talk about that later but then many people say oh you've just been doing this clickbait blah 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 this that so I'm just gonna go straight into this so basically if you um if I mean you should be excited if you want these new kind of like uh, I, I don't know how to say this so you should be excited on the one side because there's two new things within the game for one or two weeks I don't know how long Supercell is gonna keep that for but what you shouldn't be excited for is basically these two troops are not going to be powerful at all so what the barbarian is going to be doing he's basically just going to have this pumpkin on its head basically instead of his normal head and what the pumpkin is going to do is after one shot a single shot you guys the pumpkin is going to vanish and then the barbarian has his normal health so it's like the um imagine the gods from clash royale they have that little shield in front of them and then once that shield gets off then you have another kind of like health bar or for example the cannon card in clash of clans the cannon card has like a shield it gets destroyed first and then after that it has another couple of health another health bar basically so that's what's going to be happening with the barbarian just imagine the helmet being the um, pumpkin for the barbarian it's going to get destroyed after a single shot and then the barbarian he is just going to have his normal health so the normal health of the barbarian plus a single shot on the barbarian that is all and how I know this is because of the trailer Supercell released it's basically been I guess you could say legal and uh, yeah well basically that is it for the barbarian not excited about that at all all that's going to be different on him is going to be the pumpkin on his head and the giant skeleton I don't know too much about him but what I do know is it's not going to be good at all I mean from what I saw from the trailer we didn't really see too much and I'm not allowed to use any footage sadly from that otherwise I may get copyright striked so I'm not going to do that if you do want to check out the trailer though I'm going to have it down below in the description but basically the giant skeleton what is going to do just like in clash royale he's going to be doing a little bit of damage and then once he dies he's going to drop his bomb now the bomb i'm guessing is not going to be doing too much damage i'm guessing half of the structures so basically let's say we have the um, barracks right here if the barracks were at full health and the dark elixir draw as well the bomb would drop basically in between those two uh, those two uh, structures and the giant bomb would do half the damage to those two structures so the structures wouldn't even go down and uh, the amount of damage that the giant skeleton is going to be doing is obviously not going to be too much. I mean, there is no way he's going to be doing a lot of damage. He just looks that powerful, but honestly, I'm, I can almost guarantee it to you guys. The giant skeleton, many are going to be disappointed for the way he's going to be acting and for the damage he's going to be dealing. And also,
also I think the capacity of the giant spare skeleton is going to be a lot literally when I say a lot it's gonna be like 10 or 7 maybe I don't really know but it's gonna be a lot because he looks like a tank unit basically he's not gonna be as much as the golem nor as much as the lava hound but he is going to have a lot of capacity so be aware of that and uh, that's basically it you guys so personally I'm not really all that excited about this I am a little just to see what the giant skeleton looks like within clash of clans and how you can use him in different strategies but I'm not really excited about the pop Aaron at all and uh, I'm just not excited about the damage that the giant skeleton is going to be dealing because we know super so they are just going to be making all of these troops look exciting look amazing all of that good stuff and then they release the troop and it's just not as powerful as it seems to be but in any case I hope you guys did understand what I have been trying to tell you if you did please be sure to smash that like button down below now I'm gonna be getting myself into a single attack we do have a little bit of time so uh, I'm just gonna be doing a single attack with mass witches if you guys do want to stick around to that that would obviously be absolutely amazing real MVP if you have been sticking around to today's video for the entirety of the video that's gonna be absolutely awesome if you are still here if you have yet to click off be sure to comment down below in the comment section hashtag Halloween 2k17 just comment that down below and then I know if you guys have been sticking around for the entirety of the video now it seems like we're having a little bit of a Wi-Fi connection problem which is very interesting I would not have expected that but that maybe means that uh, we are going to have some trouble so for the case that I cannot reconnect my Wi-Fi within the next couple of minutes I'm just going to do the outro oh actually searching for permanence the Wi-Fi sign went away let's return back to base see if we can do that no it doesn't look like it so we've lost connection officially so uh, for the case that I cannot fix it then you guys be sure to smash that like button down below if you did enjoy today's video also if you haven't already but you do enjoy my content then please be sure to subscribe to my channel for daily videos and with all that being said guys my name is of course Sasha I'm definitely sorry for ending this video very early without an attack and I'll see you next time peace out